All right, let's go over here. Hey, new quest. Cool. Excuse me, stranger. I don't mean to be overly familiar, but I think you're just the kind of person who can help me. My coward of a husband mm. has taken my son, and I need someone with the wit and muscle to bring him back. Why would your husband take your son? Because he's both a coward and a fool. My son is gifted. Do you understand me? Gifted in the Force. He has the ability to train on Korriban and become sick. Oh, my husband trained on Korriban. He had his chance at glory, but failed. And now he runs errands for a slimy hut. I will not have my son do the same. Please, you must help me. Do I have to? What's in it for me? I'm not wealthy, but I'd give everything I have for my son. Just point me in the direction of the action. Good. <sighs> I knew I'd find somebody sensible eventually. I hope there's an he alternative to that. He took my son to, to the that. shuttle port. A comm officer there who owed me a favor contacted me when they showed up. Be careful. My husband may not be willing to walk away peacefully. And let's go see this one, too. Hey, you're Braden's boy, right? Hey! You got a minute to talk shop? Going north. <laughs> How about that? You looking to hire someone for a Jaguna job? No, but I could help you with yours. My partner Zinni and I train and supply bounty hunters. Got a little area to test out new gear. The whole bit. You want to really impress Brayden? Go let Zinni show you what she knows. <laughs> Nolan North in a video game. Who'd have thought it? <laughs> Actually, believe it or not, uh, the uh, male voice for the smuggler is... Well, it's not actually him, but it sounds really, really close. It's got the right tone, it's got the right attitude. <laughs> You'd honestly expect him to be Nolan North, but it's not. I guess they didn't want too many famous voice actors voicing the doing the player characters. Like, for example, the Republic Trooper is Jennifer Hale, female Commander Shepard, among many, many others. As for the voice of male Commander Shepard, Mark Muir, since this is obviously a Bioware game, I don't know. I would honestly have to check for that. <laughs> and maybe I'll do a trooper, because um, the male trooper voice is Brian Bloom. Also known to fans of Dragon Age as Varric Tethris. And of course, here's our never miss my mark. You won't trainer. Listen. Rocket Punch. That sounds pretty cool. But yes, yeah. So, yeah, Brian Bloom, voice of Varric, the single most awesome dwarf in the history of fantasy. Don't believe me? Play Dragon Age 2. You'll immediately see what I am talking about. <laughs> So, let's go first over here, because there's a transit point. Those are very, very handy to get around. State your destination. All vehicles leave on time. Right outside Nimra the Hut's palace, but I don't need to go in there at the moment. All right. Ooh. Here's some guys. And have a rocket. Have two rockets. And you... Falcon Punch! <laughs> uh, yeah, the Bounty Hunter is primarily a ranged class. But that doesn't mean that you get some really handy melee abilities quite a few in the case of the bounty hunter, you know, the rocket punch, the uh, flamethrowers for later on. I don't have an ability for that yet, sadly. Too bad. It's always nice to set enemies on fire. Ah, here's a guy we need to talk to. <laughs> You're the one Gianna recruited to rescue her son. She said you were on your way. Mm. Look, I'll point at her husband, but that's it. He seems jumpy, and I'm not risking my neck. 
This awesome. might not go well. Just don't get in my way. I appreciate it. I really do. Hey, hey, Kendrill. Somebody wants to talk to you. Ah, huh, there he is, and he's got do the kid. I know you? What do you want with me? I'm here to take your son back so your wife can send him to Korriban. My wife is so determined for our son to become Sith that she hires a bully to threaten me. I was once an acolyte at the Academy on Korriban. There's no failure at the Sith Academy. Those who can't cut it die. I mm. got wise and fled before Clearly the it's not an institute of higher learning. I see my son eaten alive by those Sith dogs. At least not an accredited Let one. Let me take my son and flee. Tell my wife that you persuaded me and we took the shuttle to Korriban. She won't know any different. I'll tell Gianna you took your son to Korriban. As I said, I'm doing light side. We'll leave right away so. and you'll never hear from us again. Uh, all right. Uh, no skin off my teeth. <sighs> and you still get paid for it. <laughs> Alright. So, let's go take out Vex. But first, gotta go through all his goons. Yada yada. Rocket to the face. Ding. Level three. Oh, more guys. Ugh. Boom. Let's keep at range since there's <laughs> a lot of them. <laughs> oh, I love that. The rocket just throws them around like rag dolls. It's awesome. Uh, and uh, recharge and reload. Every class has an ability like this to uh, recover health or energy in between battles. But I'm a bounty hunter, so I don't have a standard energy bar. I'll explain it. Okay, let's pick a fight. And see every time, see that yellow bar down below my health? That's building up heat from my weapons and tools. If it gets full, I can't use anything other than my standard blaster shots. So I have to vent heat, which is the number three at the quick slot bar. Since you'll notice that every time I use an ability, they, everything but that goes into cooldown mode. I haven't really had co much cause to use it so far, but I imagine when I'm a higher level, I'll probably have to more often. Doesn't matter. It is part of the game, so let's uh, take a little break before picking my fight with this last group of guys. I wish I had that flamethrower, really. That would be really, really awesome. Alright, just a couple more guys over here. Boom! And you might have noticed that the rocket actually does a little bit of splash damage, which you can level up, so BOOM! Yeah, some, yeah, some of the abilities level up as you level your character, some do not. Like, for example, that rocket punch, if I get it to a high enough level, it'll stun a guy. And those rockets I will level up to do massive splash damage. <laughs> yeah, the idea with Republic in the Old Republic is to make you a Star Wars hero. And Star Wars heroes just can do just kick ass, take names. <laughs> All the <laughs> All before breakfast. Strangely enough, I'm actually doing this commentary before breakfast. Okay, so this guy's a little bit stronger, so let's... Ah, dang it, he stunned me. I was about to hit him with a rocket punch, but got him there. Alright, let's back the off, because he's a melee guy. And took him out. Okay. 
So while I'm recovering, then loot. Then I don't know why I did that again. I guess because I didn't look at my health bar. Well, it's a good time to talk about enemy difficulty. See, you see that frame around their target window, which appears down on the opposite side of the quick slot bar from me. Depending on its color, that's the enemy difficulty. So, always watch that to avoid fights that you don't want to get into. And now let's talk to Vex, the man we're here for. What's this? A lawman of sorts? Never thought I'd see the day dashing Vex would get cornered. <laughs> Hardly a lawman. I'm not Hardly sure a lawman there, is the Vex. word you're looking for. <laughs> but I know something you don't. Vex is not your ordinary run-of-the-mill thug. Oh, no. Hmm. Vex is the galaxy's greatest quick guard. Kind of a cocky Vex little prick, so huh? Fast, you won't even hear yourself scream. And let's test that quick draw thing, shall we? Show me. <laughs> Too slow. Cheater. Hmm. Hardly. Rocket punch. Boom. Ah, dang it. He's a smuggler, so one of the smuggler abilities is to have this flash grenade that you can stun a group of enemies. Ugh. I don't imagine that's the last time I've seen that ability. Alright, so, got his ID tags, yeah. Yellow shaft of light means quest loot. Alright, so, let's get out of here. <sighs> and then we can turn the stuff in. After, of course, I stop back at our trainer, because I did level up, so I've probably got a new ability. Uh, and, you know, this will give me a little opportunity to talk about the various character archetypes, because I have mentioned uh, several different quests, different uh, character classes thus far. Yeah, each character class is based on a p specific character archetype in the Star Wars canon. Well, I'm playing a bounty hunter, so that means I'm based off of the uh, Boba Fett or Jango Fett archetype. Actually, the two... Actually, it becomes Boba and a Jango Fett when you get to the advanced classes, which I will explain much, much later. But, okay, and then I've mentioned the Smuggler. That's the Han Solo archetype. And then the Trooper... Mm. I never miss my mark. You won't either if you listen. Well, good hunting. I don't there. know. That's kind of a new one. There haven't really been too many uh, troopers, but the, the Jedi and the Sith. That's like Luke Skywalker and then Darth Vader. Actually, the two Sith archetypes, the Sith warrior and the Sith Inquisitor, are based off of Darth War, Darth Vader, and then the Emperor specifically. Alright, so I got a new ability when I talked to the trainer. 